Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So this is our final video on the XML HTTP request object. Up to now we have made a calls like get request and all those things we have seen it. Now in this video we will create the post request. How we can send the post request and we'll create the PHP uh, through the API server API request API URL will create and we'll try to send the post request to the API URL. And I am creating with the backend PHP. Why I am using the PHP is it is very easy to start. So that is the reason I am trying to use it. Node.js and all those things we need to do the configuration and we need to run the server and all those things. But PHP it is very easy. We can run the server through the command. So that is the reason I am using just a simple code, right? So later on we will see with the Node.js and uh, PHP also. With the Node.js also we'll try to see how to create API URLs and how we can make the Ajax calls. Now this is the example. So now here when I am trying to make a call here, please submit the form to view the command content so it is trying to show the message so if i try to submit something your comment your, your comment is submitted successfully here is the comment so that is the thing so if i try to submit empty message and here please fill the form so i need to show this one this is all coming from the backend server so this is the code so i'll try to implement this one from first onwards so i'm removing this one all so let's try to implement from first onwards i'm already running the php server in order to run the php server we need to use php hyphen s localhost column 8000 so this is the command now this is the main.html i am creating html let's create a form so here this is our thing and here i will create a simple form so here i am having a div and i will be having a form we will be having one label in this one label and this is a username okay and here i will be having one div and input Type is equal to text and we should have a name in order to send the data username that's it so we can have one br tag okay and uh, let's add it separately yeah so here i'll be having one div again so label um, comment so i can have one comment and here i will be creating a text area in the div so that it will come down text area and i will remove let's remove these all the things and I will create name is equal to comment. So at the last, we will be having one beer. If you want, you can also give it, or otherwise, not needed. So here, I will be having one button, form button, and this one will be sorry, button submit. That's it. This is a simple form. Let's see the output, how it will look like. Yeah, here, if I try to refresh this page, username, comment, and a submit button. We are having a submit button. Now, when I am trying to submit, the page is getting refreshed. Okay. So now here we'll be having outside the form or somewhere you can have it you id is equal to content okay so please fill the form and submit to the server so something okay now here if you see here if i say refresh this page yeah here we are able to see please fill the form and submit to the server so this is the message we are having and whenever I fill the form and I click on submit, I need to submit this one through the Ajax call. That's the post request I need to make it. Let's go to the script file here. So I will be having a script file. Now the main thing enters here. So first let's get the form element. Let form element is equal to document dot query selector. So I want to get only one form, right? Query selector of form. So we got the form. So form element dot add event listener dot submit when this form is submitted so this one not click we need to use the form element is submitted so we need to have an event so we should prevent the form to be submitted right so here i will be using event dot prevent default mm, that's it so now we have created now let's try to console dot log so we need to check whether this form is not refreshing or not let's try to see so if i try to refresh this page if i click on the submit it is not refreshing right so the form is not refreshing now what i want to do here so now i want to send a xhr request so let's try to make an xhr request here on the submit right so here let's remove the console let xhr is equal to new xml http request i have created here xhr dot open so here this time we are making a post request and the url is dot slash message dot tech php that's it so here we will try to send xhr dot send 
and before sending we need to send the post data so here we need to write xhr dot onload okay is equal to function so this is a function and here we can write console.log okay event or otherwise what i can say e so here we'll write e that's it so we need to somehow send the data so if i try to send this one so if i try to send this to the inspect element if you see the inspect element in the console in the network tab and if i click on the submit okay so it is not submitting why right? let's refresh this page yeah so i am submitting and click on this yeah this time this is submitted to the each base but right now we are not sending any data so payload is not payload we are not sending any say data but post request we are trying to send it the response it is not giving any response why because we haven't implemented any code so here we need to send the form data so for this form data what i can do is let user data is equal to new form data so this is the form data and we need to submit the form element so you know that it will be converted into a form data so now we need to send this user data here that's it so now if you see let's refresh this page yeah now if i try to submit submit message.php the payload is so here we are trying to send the message data with the form boundary and all those things we'll discuss about those things also so that is the main thing now let's go and write the php code so i am i will be writing very pretty much light only so you'll be having a dollar server global variable so which gives you the server name and all those things so here you'll be having a request method first of all we need to write question mark php sorry php yeah now here if dollar is a request method method so this is all capital letters i remember long back i have written this code to so php code so if anything wrong is means so excuse me so if a dollar underscore server is equal to is equal to post is there then dollar username let's take the username is equal to dollar underscore post of username right username the name which we have given in the input variable the name attribute so here dollar comment is equal to dollar underscore post of comment okay so that's it so now you can check if not empty of dollar username if it is not empty of username and also not empty of uh, what is it on dollar comment so if it is not empty both are not empty then what i can do here if both are not empty means so you can send the response so form submitted successfully okay so if you want you can also give something like uh, div element okay you can send the div element not a problem you can use multiple echo tags also so echo and here I can write here the comment. Okay. So here I can write with the dot. We need to use the dot operator, not plus operator. In JavaScript for concatenate, we use the plus operator. And here I can use comment. Okay. So that's it. So these are the things. So if both are not, if both are empty means, then what we need to do echo? Please fill the form. Please fill the form. So we need to write please fill the form so we need to give the semicolons automatically this one will not write so here if the post itself is not request means echo um you can write oops oops you can write something wrong happened we can keep it like this that's it so now let's try to check it here we are sending the data and message.php file is also there let's see so i am refreshing this page and i am submitting this one and i am clicking here so here we are able to see uh, some problem came give you syntax error uh, message line number 15 some syntax error we have written wrong i don't know where i have written it let's try to check it so if not empty if not empty line number 15 they are saying so this is the problem actually happens semicolon javascript automatically these editors write the semicolon at the end automatically the like, uh, tools so now if i click on this message yeah here we will be able to see form submitted successfully it is the comment so if you don't uh, submit the form then you can maybe getting error that please fi fill the form no i have written file the form that should be fill the form okay we are able to get the data from the server back so here what i can do so after getting the response so here document dot 
get element by id of content so here we will be having the content right content that one is html content we are getting inner html is equal to xhr dot response text so it will be displayed as a response text yeah that's it so now if you see the output let's close this one otherwise we need yeah here leela and leela web dev comment now if i try to submit it what happened okay we need to refresh the page right we yeah. have so we need to make it load so leela leela web dev comment i'm using this one so let's click on the submit see form submitted successfully here is the comment leela web dev comment so like this we can submit the post request hope you understood about this uh, simple xml http request post object in the next video onwards we will discuss about the fetch api so what is this fetch api what is the promises and all those things we'll discuss about that one Hope you understood about this one XML HTTP request object. So hope you understood everything about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.